Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I wanted to do a product review for you. This is a classic wardrobe staple. I searched for a long time for the perfect one for my own wardrobe and I think I finally found it. So I'm going to be doing a review of the Cezanne Scott trench coat that I have here. I bought this in September 2020 as part of my fall capsule wardrobe and I'm really happy with it. I've styled it in a few different videos um, and every time that I've shown it on my channel, a few of you have asked for a full review. And so I know a lot of you are interested in purchasing a high quality trench coat that you can incorporate into your capsule wardrobe, or if you're just looking for a really solid wardrobe staple. So I wanted to share what I think about this trench coat with you today. So let's get into the details of this piece. This is the Scott trench coat from French slow fashion brand Cezanne. This is the camel color. They also have two other colors. They have a khaki which is a dark green and a navy color now. This jacket was released a few years ago but it sold out so consistently that um, they finally re-released it in a couple of new colors too. So I think this is a great starter if you don't have another trench coat in your wardrobe and you're looking for a really classic wardrobe stable I would definitely start with a classic like camel brown color. In my mind this is actually khaki color but according to Cezanne that is not the case. This comes with a detachable tie waist belt too. It's a nice thick material. It has these classic large lapels and it is double breasted. It has a tortoiseshell plastic button. Um, it has the buttons uh, both on the shoulders, on the cuffs around the sleeves, and double breasted down the front. Another interesting feature of this jacket, which I actually didn't even realize uh, was part of it until I read another review, is that it has this hidden like button slit detail in the back so you can actually wear it open in the back if you'd like. And I just think that's such a cool little feature of this piece. It's really like hidden so you don't notice the buttons there unless you look for them. It has some nice sized pockets too so that kind of makes this a good piece to have when you're traveling because it does hold a lot. This jacket actually comes with a garment bag or at least it did when I ordered it last September and it retails at 305 US dollars. So when I was doing some research on a classic trench coat, I looked around for about a year before settling on one. The Cezanne trench coat was actually at the top of my list. It was one of the first ones I found and it really kind of ticked all those boxes for me in terms of like the details of the design that I wanted. Um, those really classic like trench coat details as well as the color and I think that compared to like designer pieces or something of similar quality this is actually really well priced I think it's in that kind of mid-range and this was more of an investment piece for me but knowing that it has all these really classic details and a classic fit to it, I know that I'll be able to get a lot of use out of it over the years. And I wanted to touch on materials as well because I think that kind of contributes to the overall quality of this jacket. The outer layer is 100% cotton. The inner layer is a mixture of viscose and acetate, so a kind of synthetic fabric. One of the things that first stood out to me about this jacket is that it is pretty heavy. Um, it has a nice weight to it, which in my mind indicates that it is a nicer quality jacket and upon wearing it I realized that it does keep you pretty warm for that reason as well so it's not a really lightweight duster style trench coat that you see a lot of that are more like trendy seasonal pieces this is really like a classic trench coat it's a classic piece of outerwear that is actually meant to keep you warm and because of the thicker material it really keeps its shape so it doesn't wrinkle or crease easily um, which is really ideal if you're using this while traveling or even commuting daily. Um, yeah, I haven't had any issues with wrinkles just wearing it out. One thing that I did have an issue with is when it arrived, um, this lapel was kind of like folded over like this. And because the material is so like sturdy and thick, it was actually pretty hard to iron this out. And someone who saw me mention that in a previous video actually sent me a suggestion for a product that helps if you have really tough creases to get out that are kind of too tough for ironing. Um, so I'll leave that linked in the description if you have the same issue. But that kind of speaks to the fact that this material, it really holds its shape. But just generally like wrinkling, I'm not having an issue with that, which is really nice. And so now I want to talk about the fit of this piece because that is one of the main questions that I received when I featured this in previous videos. I went with a French size 38, which is the equivalent of a US 6. 
So typically I wear somewhere between a women's US 4 or 6. Um, with outerwear, I tend to size up to a 6 because I like to layer them over knitwear in the winter and, you know, thicker pieces underneath. So that was the case with this one, but I actually wanted an even more oversized, kind of dramatic fit. And I, that was not the case when I ordered the sizes. It's actually more true to size on me, which I think I prefer now to an oversized fit because I think an oversized trench coat is very much like a trendier shape and silhouette, and this is more of a classic fit. So it is roomy enough where I can comfortably wear like heavier knitwear underneath, and it just kind of feels better on knowing that there's a little bit more space in the jacket. I think it makes um, outerwear look a little better too if you size up one. I would say for the most part this fits true to size considering I do usually go with a size 6 for outerwear. I am also 5'6 for reference and this jacket hits around knee length on me so it's a nice long but not too long length and I think if you're more petite this will definitely have a more oversized look which I think is really great but that's something to keep in mind if it's not exactly what you're looking for. And as I mentioned previously this is uh, more of a heavier weight trench coat so it is a lightweight jacket in general which makes it really ideal for fall and spring like transitional seasons but it will keep you pretty warm too so overall impressions i would say this is exactly what i was looking for for my capsule wardrobe this is definitely a kind of year-round piece for me but more specifically like a fall and spring transitional piece um i had it in my winter capsule as well and yeah, I just am really happy that I took the time and did my research to find a piece that I know I'm going to get a lot of wear of in the future. I think with a trench coat, there's lots of trendy versions of them that are always on the market. So it takes a little bit more digging to find a really high quality and classic fit and cut. Um, so I really highly recommend the Cezanne trench coat for that reason. I also want to mention the color of this because um, I was really looking for this kind of medium, like warm brown color, and this really ticked that box for me. So I didn't want like a lighter beige or a darker khaki color. So I think this is a really nice kind of medium in between and it goes with a lot of other things in my neutrals wardrobe for that reason. So as I mentioned previously, this was more of an investment piece for me as it is over $300, but you know, for what it is and you know, for outerwear, that's actually fairly reasonably priced, I believe. Um, just for like the quality that you're getting and you're not necessarily paying for the high markup of a designer piece. And of course, like another option is to go with a secondhand Burberry, which would probably be around the same price range. Um, obviously buying secondhand is amazing. I know that they are fairly hard to source at this point because they are pretty popular. So yeah, that is another option as well. Um, but for the quality that you're getting and for like the simple classic design, I do think this is well worth the price tag. So that is all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful if you're looking to add the Cezanne Scott trench coat to your collection as well. Or if you already have this in your wardrobe, let me know what you thought. If you think that like the sizing and the fit is consistent with what I mentioned today. And I did write an entire blog post with this review and I go kind of more in depth with the things that I mentioned in this video. So head over to my blog. I'll leave that linked in the description box if you're interested. And you can see more pictures there of how I style this wonderful wardrobe staple. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You can also hit the bell icon to get notifications when I have new videos. I love to do videos on slow fashion, capsule wardrobe, styling videos, and also some vlogs mixed in here and there as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.